Welcome. Today, church, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Augustine, Doctor of the Church. Our presider today is Father Ben. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. St. Augustine was born 354 and died 430. Born in North Africa to Patricius and Monica. He became a follower of Mani a Persian prophet whose philosophy promised to explain the problem of evil. While he was teaching in Carthage, his mistress bore a son, Adeodatus. Augustine then taught in Rome and in Milan, where he heard St. Ambrose preach and he became a Christian. He was ordained and became Bishop of Hippo. He tells his life story in his Confessions, a classic of spiritual autobiography. A doctor of the church, his intelligence and pastoral concern shaped the thought of Western Christianity and guided the church for over a thousand years. Let us imitate his restless search for God and his joy when God is discovered. And now we ask the Lord to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O oh Lord, the Spirit, with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of his meaning. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not come to know God through wisdom. It was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. 
For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The The earth earth is full full of of the goodness goodness of the Lord. Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The The earth earth is is full full of the goodness goodness of the Lord. Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth earth is full full of the goodness of the the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. The The earth earth is is full full of of the goodness goodness of of the Lord. Lord. Me, the Lord, be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Jesus Christ.
So if you paid attention to both readings, there is a word, foolishness, that was used four times in the first reading, and the word foolish that was used one time in the first reading and twice in the gospel. Don Talavus, a Benedictine monk, he reflects on this word foolishness. He writes, what kind of fool do you think I am is an often asked question. Some variation of that is found in both readings today. And we are left with a question, too, of what kind of foolishness. Paul, in the first reading, uses the word foolishness to describe the reaction of worldly and reasonable people to the gospel he proclaims. And while I was listening to Carol proclaiming the first reading, I was saying to myself, St. Augustine, uh, before he became a Christian, I'm sure he was looking at the Christian religion, yes, as foolishness. He, he, he followed this prophet from Persia, Mani, who was supposedly explaining the problem of evil, but not from the point of view of Christ, from our human point of view. And so I'm sure St. Augustine was looking at his mother's faith as foolishness, but then he will, as we know, he underwent conversion. The world, so I would say for the, these people, a crucified savior is foolishness to the worldly wise of whom Paul speaks. How could someone be a savior and at the same time be crucified, they ask. Their world and so often ours too, says that the only way you get anything accomplished in this world is by power and force. Unfortunately, I think we often think, and as we have all the, the, the bombs, the nuclear bombs, we have the power, uh, we can save the world, and uh, that's foolishness also. Yet the message of Paul and the crucified Savior is just the opposite. Christ conquers by undergoing the cross. The weakness of God, Paul says, is stronger than human strength. Now in the gospel, about the wise and the foolish virgins, foolish seems to refer to people who do not take sufficient care for the future, who do not look ahead enough. Jesus invites you and me to consider how we are living in the present while maintaining readiness for what is to come. And I want you to know the older I get, obviously, I'm more and more concerned about uh, what is to come than than about the world in which I live. We are invited to be vigilant and live in anticipation of Christ's return. For us, being vigilant means doing our daily tasks and ministry with faith, doing what we have been appointed to do in preparation for Christ's coming, be it welcoming the stranger, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, and on and on. We know that this is the way to be vigilant, to always, always be ready for Jesus to come. Relying on God's unfailing love for us, we pray for the church and the world. For Pope Francis, that he may be guided by the Holy Spirit as he binds and loosens here on earth, so that we may grow ever closer to truly realizing the mission of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our elected leaders, that they may be guided by empathy for the people they serve, and consider the effects of the decisions they make on the least of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For students, teachers, and administrators at the beginning of a new school year, 
that they return to their studies eager to discover new things despite the challenges of the current situation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country in the military and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have lost their jobs and struggle to make ends meet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Deacon Ed Moser, Joanne Schlemmer, Tammy Wilson, Gabby Short, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Leonard Vasquez, Anne Case, Nancy Johnson, Joseph Saylor, Kathleen Onder, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold silently in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We prayed for the sick. I would like to add the name of Father James Burson, a Yudis father who is retired, lives at Las Villas. He is presently in the hospital, possibly uh, pneumonia. We're not too sure. So we pray for that he be restored to good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal God, all power is yours to grant. Hear the prayers of your servants and grant what we ask. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us, the sign of unity and the bond of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, the, to Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, uh, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples as saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the, the sins, sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Grant us peace. Shall most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me all, always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Thus says the Lord, you have but one teacher, the Christ, and you are all brothers. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.